back to my channel. It is Sunday today. I'm just drinking my coffee in my office on the couch. Mm. This coffee's so good. It's from Costco and it's called Job Club. I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, my office has like now become my favorite room in the house. Basically, I'm starting to like actually put effort into finishing it because I feel like before we went to Hawaii, it was like on my to-do list, but having two jobs plus like trying to refurnish a house, a house, an apartment, okay, let's relax. But um, anyways, I have a lot more time to spend on that now. So I've been just adding little bits everywhere. I'll show you, I'll give you a little mini tour. Okay, so keep in mind, it's still a little bit of a mess, but this is the pull-out couch so we can have guests stay here as well. A little coffee table, comfy area. I just brought this mirror in here yesterday. It's the mirror from our living room, but I really like it here. It's big and can do like outfit stories, that kind of thing in this mirror. It's really handy. Plus it makes the room feel bigger. It's a mess out there, <laughs> but um, there's the desk. There's my little, I need, I'm gonna get like a little cube table here to put my label printer and that extra laptop on. This is my little like work zone. I just framed those prints finally. They've been in like one of those tubes for probably nine months. I finally got around to doing that. And then I love this little lamp. I need some artwork for this wall, which I'm still figuring out. I'll probably do like two posters there. We'll see. And then you can tell that I can barely close that closet. This is like my Poshmark room. I sell a lot of stuff on Poshmark. I'm actually gonna link my Poshmark below in the description for you guys so you can check it out. For all of my Canadian girls, you can shop my closet. I can ship anywhere within Canada at the moment, not the States yet, unfortunately. Hopefully eventually, but right now it is only Canada, but I'll link it for you guys. I just listed like over hundred items in the last few days. So there's a lot of good stuff for sale. It's almost 10, so I need to start getting ready. I'm going to meet up with Meg. We're going for coffee slash brunch at this spot that I haven't been to before. It opened a couple months before I went to Hawaii, but there was always like an insane line out front, so I've never been. I need to make a reservation. It's called Paul Cafe on Robson. And it's like this Parisian style, like cafe restaurant that looks super cute. So we're gonna go there and probably like try to shoot a look in there as well, because it's very like aesthetic. Cafe. So yeah, I'm meeting her. Actually, she's coming to pick me up in like an hour, so she'll probably get my ass in gear. I think Chris is still sleeping. I'm gonna go wake him up. Are you still sleeping? <laughs> Lazy boy. <sighs> Good morning. More. <laughs> I made you coffee. It's really good coffee. Okay, I need to plan my outfits. I normally try to do that the night before, but Chris and I went to the movies last night, so I haven't planned them yet. I have like a general idea of what I think I'm going to. This thing on my forehead is really bugging me. Anyways, I think I know what I'm gonna wear for the cafe. We might shoot one other look outside because it's actually, you can kind of see, it's like blue sky today. It's been disgusting every day since I got home, so it's like so nice to see the sun. So I might pack a second look. I'm just gonna go throw it together now. This is my little clothing rack in our living room. Chris probably resents me for this, but I kind of like queue up things that I need to shoot on here. And then I like have it in front of me all the time. And I like remember what I still need to shoot or what I want to shoot or whatever. So anyways, this brown Princess Polly sweater, I think I, I think that's what I want to shoot at the cafe today. So I'm going to try to build my outfit around it. Okay, I do have these brown trousers which go really well with this top. I actually pulled them together. These are also from Princess Polly. I like pulled this outfit to wear together, which is cute. Or if I wanted to make it a little bit more casual, I could do like jeans or I think like black leather pants would be cool too. I don't know which one. Okay, this is the look we're gonna try. Brown sweater with a brown blazer for like a monochromatic type look. Black jeans and then these new boots I just got from Jonak. It's a French brand. These are stunning. They sent me a pair of tall ones as well and I'm fully obsessed. Okay, the morning is flying by now, so I need to start getting ready and start curling my hair and do my makeup and stuff. So I am selling this lamp. I have this lamp. It's like a pretty big one. It was one of our old bedside table lamps and I've literally had it for so long. Like we got new lamps like six, eight months ago 
and I've listed, we sold one of them. They were like slightly different shapes, so nobody wanted to buy them together. Anyways, I've been trying to sell this line for so long, I had it listed at $30, which is like fairly cheap, and then I dropped it to 20, but still no interest. But it's so funny with Facebook Marketplace, as soon as you list something as free, it's like a swarm. Like I already have, I listed it as free like an hour ago, two hours ago, and someone's already coming to pick it up in like the next five minutes. And I already have like 25 messages, it's hilarious. But it's a great tool if you ever need to get rid of something real quick. Just put it up for free on Marketplace and you are golden. Okay, hair is done. Just tossed my usual beachy curls in. And then I always, like lately, especially because my roots are so dark right now, even on clean hair, I add a little bit of dry shampoo just to give it some volume. And also like it helps lighten the color of my roots because they're so dark, but I'm getting my hair colored next week, thankfully. Okay, I'm doing makeup now. I don't have enough time to do my like normal morning skincare routine. So I'm just going to cleanse with micellar water. It's like my favorite thing to get makeup off. It's just like cheap drugstore stuff. It's Garnier. But yeah, I swear by this stuff. It just gets everything off. If you have any ounce of like makeup or it gets off like oil and grease and everything too. It's a very, very good cleanser. I usually do my skincare routine after this, but we're gonna skip it this morning and just do a good one tonight because I'm running out of time. Makeup is done, very natural. Got my lashes filled this week. Thank God, I was missing them so much. The Cooper Pals, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I go to Luxie Lash Lounge, her name's Vanessa, and she just does them out of her apartment. They're super affordable and they last forever. Like I had a set, like they were very thick at the beginning, like a volume set. And they lasted me eight weeks when I was in Hawaii. Like they still looked good after eight weeks. And then after that, they started to get like thinner, but eight weeks was insane. Anyways, love her, love my lashes. Okay, before Meg gets here, I'm gonna quickly film a little, I've been doing these like get dressed with me videos on TikTok. I'm trying to grow my TikTok this year. That's the goal for 2022. I will link it below as well so you guys can check it out. But um, I'm doing 30 days of outfits. So I like get dressed and shave my outfit every day for the month of January. I'm only one day behind so far. So yay for me. But I'm just going to film that getting ready in my outfit that I picked out for the day really quickly. And then Meg's pretty much going to be here. Okay, I ended up going with a like beige off-white turtleneck instead of the brown because the brown on brown on black was just like a bit much. I love these boots and I added the hat. I don't know how we feel about it, but I just love this hat. So any opportunity to wear it, I'll probably bring it in and see how it looks in photos and stuff. Hi! Hey. I miss you too. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, we're just, well, it's bright. Just driving down Robson, just looking for Oh no, it's a loading zone. Damn. Great. We thought we were gonna get like the perfect spot out front. Oh, is this guy leaving or parking? I think he just parked. Okay. Anyways, we're almost at our destination for brunch and we're only a few minutes late. Brunch was really good. We both had the same the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the omelet with mushrooms and peppers. Peppers, yeah. And tomato. I'm like, what's that vegetable called again? <laughs> and then we got lattes and they accidentally brought us an extra one and it was like a chocolate orange one. A few sips of it. So good. Izzy had all three because I don't <laughs> drink coffee. No, I actually couldn't even <laughs> I couldn't even finish my latte because I already had one this morning too. So I'm just like caffeinated <laughs> and ready to just rumble. Ready to shop. Ready to do some stuff. And we're just on our way to Zara now. We're gonna go check, hopefully all their sales stuff is gone so we can actually like shop the new We should collection. check the car to make sure we didn't get a ticket. Okay, let's do that. And yeah, and then we're going to go to Lululemon and Abercrombie. Okay, so I didn't end up getting the mushroom sweater. I'm low key a little bit sad about it. It was so fun. Such a statement piece that I would probably wear five times and then sell, but whatever. Maybe <laughs> maybe another time if it stays in my dreams. Meg just got like, what did you get? Like a black skirt? 
fit black yeah. skirt and top. Mm -hmm. Body but suit. Doubtful that it's gonna fit me because they have no sizes in store because it's like the sale. All the sale stuff. So they have yeah. like extra small or extra large. Nothing in between. <laughs> oh, it's bright. So yeah, we're just gonna go to Pacific Center and walk around for a little bit now and then maybe shoot another look. We'll just see. It's very bright. It might be hard. Okay, so my camera decided to die while we were out at the mall, but you didn't really miss anything. We just went to Abercrombie and Nordstrom and maybe one other store, and none of us, neither of us bought anything, so you didn't miss anything anyways. We tried to shoot a second look, which is why I've changed, but the lighting was just very strange. And the noise you're hearing in the background, Chris is having some of his guy friends over to watch football. It's Sunday. So I'm just in my office. I'm gonna do a little bit of like, prep work for the week kind of some stuff that takes longer like i have to make selects from two brands and i don't like doing it during office hours because i find it takes me so long to make selects from really like big websites like pretty little thing is one of the ones i have to make selects from today because i'm partnering with them for the next couple months it takes me so long so i like to try to do it in like the evening or like while i'm doing something else like watching tv or something or relaxing because then it doesn't feel like so much pressure. Anyways, I'm rambling now, but I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna pack up some Poshmark orders. I sold a couple things while we were out. So I'm gonna pack those up and then I can drop them off at the post office tomorrow morning. I bought these really cute little, I don't know if you can read it. It says, you've got great taste to personalize my Poshmark orders. So I literally like stick one on the outside of each order. I just think it's cute. And I usually have thank you cards that go inside too that have like a little personalized note, but I ran out of those. So I ordered more and they're not coming till later this month, but that's okay. The sticker's cute anyways. And like I invested in, in a label printer a couple months ago and it was like one of the best things I've ever bought. It makes packing orders so much faster and easier rather than like, printing out a piece of paper and taping it onto the bag. It saves me so much time. It's definitely helped me step up my Poshmark game and I just get all of my packing supplies from Amazon. I buy these bags and then I just reuse boxes that I get from like PR like sh or like shoe boxes or whatever. I actually completely ran out of supplies the other day and I had to use a nude vodka soda, like 12 pack box to pack an order in. <laughs> and I was stressed that the post office is gonna be like, can't send alcohol in the mail. So I had to write on the box being like, by the way, this contains clothes, not alcohol. Anyways, I'm sure, I hope the recipient laughs because I was cracking up. <laughs> okay, I actually have so many orders that I've done in the last couple of days. These are all the small ones that I can put in the mailbox. The bigger ones I'll probably have to take to the post office. So I'm just gonna do a little run to the mailbox now. Okay, I'm gonna hunker down and try to make some selects over the next like, half hour before Chris and I make some dinner. I just find Pretty Little Things website is so overwhelming sometimes because there's so, so, so many things. So I'm like trying to look for something specific right now. I'm looking for a teddy coat to match my Uggs. Chris got me um, Uggs for Christmas, like the slipper ones with like the fluff around them they're so cute and they're coming in next week so i can't wait to get them but i'm trying to find a teddy coat from pretty little thing to match the ugg slippers because i think that'd be really cute for a photo so anyways that's why i'm scrolling pages and pages and pages of teddy coats honestly pray for me this is gonna take me all night okay i got my selects done believe it or not and it's time for dinner now chris is starting to prep the food it looks really good he's making lamb chops Good. you're cooking a lot of them yeah, uh, accidentally or? defrosted them all. Well, oh. we froze them all, so oh, yeah. had to defrost them, so. Mm -hmm. They look good, and I'm gonna start chopping some sweet potato. And what else do you wanna have with it? The broccoli, some sprouts, maybe. Oh yeah, Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I'm excited.
food is all done. We have sweet potato, roasted Brussels sprouts, we added parm. And then the lamb chops are all done too and they look delicious. Delicious! We're having dinner at the table for Sunday night. Chris has started eating already. One of the things I mentioned in my video last week about like New Year's resolutions and stuff was being present. So we tried to eat dinner together at the table with no phones, which is nice. And look at us, we're having kombucha instead of alcohol because we're amazing human beings. Responsible. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, I feel like I just need to quickly explain what we're saying. We're not like proud of ourselves for not having a drink. It's Sunday. We don't normally drink on Sundays. It's more just that we like made a pact that we're gonna try to only drink like one or two days a week, like on Fridays and Saturdays pretty much, like not through the week. We had a couple drinks on Friday, but we didn't even have a single drink yesterday. We went to the movies and didn't drink a thing. So that's why we're proud of ourselves for being responsible adults. Not because we did not drink on a Sunday because we do not usually do that. I just felt like I had to explain. <laughs> also completely forgot to mention that I changed before dinner into my comfy sweatsuit. It's from Adenola. I have this sweatsuit in like at least three colors. It's my favorite. I just love the fit. It's really cozy, nice material. And I love them. Check them out. Check them out. Do yourself a favor. They're like my favorite, favorite sweatsuits. Okay, anyways, now that I've rambled on and on, it is about 7 p.m.-ish and it's kind of chilly, so I'm feeling like I'm going to have a hot bath and then we're probably just gonna watch a couple episodes of a Netflix show and go to bed because we've been in a pretty good routine of waking up at like eight every morning, like consistently. I've actually been waking up before my alarm every day, which is awesome. So I kind of want to try to stay in that routine as long as we can. So I'm going to sign off and go jump in the tub. But thanks for hanging out with me today. And make sure you guys subscribe because I'm planning on doing a lot of this type of video because I know you guys love day in the life type vlogs. Gonna be seeing a lot more of those in 2022. And make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you don't miss the cute content I got at the cafe today. I'm excited to post it. So make sure you follow me. Till next time you guys. Mm -hmm.